In November, there's a treasure trove of cozy mysteries from Penguin's Berkeley Prime Crime and Obsidian. In fact, there are so many books, I'm going to have to shorten some of my summaries. New York Times best-selling author Ellery Adams kicks off the list with Writing All Wrongs, the latest books by the Bay Mystery. As the Legends of Coastal Carolina Festival gets underway, a trickster seems to be bringing local ghost stories to life. But when a body is found on the beach, Olivia Lamage and her friends must find a killer. Plot Boiler is Allie Brandon's latest Black Cat Bookshop mystery. Bookseller Darla Pettistone decides to throw a block party for the 4th of July, but the proprietor of Perky's Coffee Shop is less than thrilled. When Hamlet the Cat comes upon the body of the owner's wife, it's clear a killer has crashed the party. Joanna Carl brings us a paperback and a hardcover in her Chocoholic series. A suspect was arrested in the murder of Moe Davidson, the shop owner of Clowning Around. But when Moe's widow is found unconscious, Lee Woodyard fears the real killer might still be at large. In The Chocolate Clown Corpse, Lee must stay alive long enough to discover if a neighbor is celebrating Clown Week as a killer. In Carl's The Chocolate Falcon Fraud, it's murder, my sweet, for Lee Woodyard, a chocolatier whose love of old crime films plunges her into a real-life murder during the Tough Guys and Private Eyes Film Festival. And motives aren't so black and white. Crowned in Moldering is Kate Carlyle's new fixer-upper mystery. Contractor Shannon Hammer can repair even the most distressed building. But clearing out the cobwebs and the bones from her current project, a historic lighthouse mansion, may distress her to death. Flower shop owner Abby Knight is back in Florist Grump. She's so stressed she's turned into a major grump. She and her new husband, Marco, are living with her parents while their house is under construction. There's too much talk about babies. And then there's a murder. Abby's energy is wielding, but she doesn't want a beloved figure to be the number one suspect. Vicki Delaney launches the year-round Christmas mystery series with Resty Murdered Gentlemen. In Rudolph, New York, it's Christmas time all year. Mary Wilkinson owner of Mrs. Claus's Treasures, is excited about her float in the semi-annual Santa Claus Parade. But when her float is sabotaged and Mary's number one suspect is found dead, she has to find the Grinch out to destroy Christmas. Death Takes Priority by Jean Flowers is also the first in a series. Cassie Miller returns to her small hometown in the Berkshires to become postmaster. But a break-in and theft at the post office, followed by the discovery of a body in the woods, draws Cassie into the case. Sally Goldenbaum's hardcover is trimmed with murder. The seaside knitters are on the case when Izzy Chambers Perry's brother becomes a suspect in a murder. It's a holiday yarn when Charlie Chambers brings an outspoken hitchhiker home. But that hitchhiker, Amber Hansen, is there declared to claim an inheritance until she's found dead. Tis the season for Christmas murders, and Victoria Hamilton's vintage kitchen mystery, White Colander Crime, fits in perfectly. Queensville's Heritage Society is recreating a perfect Victorian Christmas until good tidings go bad. The murder of a local woman is a dickens of a case. The new Greek to me mystery is Olive and Let Die by Susanna Hardy. Is murder all in Georgie Nicolopoulos' family? Georgie's life is beginning to feel like a soap opera. A surprise visit from her estranged mother adds to the drama. But the discovery of the body of a cousin Georgie didn't know she had adds a new twist to the family plot. Betty Heckman's Not Guilty is now in paperback. Molly Pink and her crochet group, the Tarzana Hookers, get a crash course in murder when a crochet co competition organizer is found dead and suspicion falls on one of their group. 
It's embroidery, not crochet, in Amanda Lee's The Stitching Hour. Marcy Singer's embroidery shop is a year old, but its future is in jeopardy when a haunted house opens next door and the screaming may scare off customers. But when a murder victim is found with one of Marcy's celebratory seven-year stitch key rings beneath her, Marcy's own future is in jeopardy. Lindy Blanchard returns in Elizabeth Lee's Nuts and Buried. Lindy has enough on her hands at her family's Texas nut farm with her new strain of pecan trees dying. Trouble is, people are dying too. I love Nick and Nora in T.C. Lo Tempio's first mystery, Meow If It's Murder. Now they return in Claws for Alarm. When Nora Charles' sister Lacey has arrest, is arrested for murdering an art collector, Nora goes undercover to investigate. If she fails, even Nick's animal instinct won't be enough to rescue Lacey from a perfectly executed framing. Congratulations to Jen McKinley, whose library lover's mystery, A Likely Story, is out in hardcover. When library director Lindsay Norris arrives at Star Island by boat to deliver books, she and Captain Mike Sullivan find the body of one of the eccentric brothers who lived there. But where did the other brother go? Lindsay has to uncover a family history of secrets and lies. Hey Jen, just a reminder, those of us who love this series also love Sully. The latest Gaslight Mystery by Victoria Thompson, Murder on St. Nicholas Avenue, returns readers to 19th century New York. Christmas is in the air. Detective Sergeant Frank Malloy and Sarah Brandt are on their honeymoon. And a wealthy newlywed is found with blood on her hands. So Frank and Sarah's household staff step up to take the case. The last Christmas mystery, Livia J. Washburn's The Candy Cane Cupcake Killer, finds one more murderer determined to spoil the festivities. Even though a local rancher is found dead after eating Phyllis Newsom's candy cane cupcakes, she's not a suspect for long. It seems someone shot the man. And Phyllis enlists the help of a tabloid TV news crew to unwrap the truth. I hope you unwrap a number of delightful mysteries in November from Penguin's Berkeley Prime Crime and Obsidian. Enjoy!